those wonderful toys. Hello everyone, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today I want to talk about a cultural phenomenon that took the world by storm in 1989. The movie, of course, is none other than Tim Burton's Batman starring Michael Keaton as the Dark Knight. One of the most striking features of the movie is its dark gothic setting. Burton's vision of Gotham City was a stark departure from the colorful and campy versions we had seen before. The city was gritty, moody, and atmospheric, perfectly capturing the brooding nature of Batman himself. But it wasn't just the setting that was new and exciting. The movie also introduced us to a brand new look for the Batsuit. Gone were the bright colors and spandex of previous iterations. Instead, we got a sleek black suit with a muscular armor-plated design. It was definitely a much more intimidating look than ever seen before on the silver screen. Probably the most exciting redesign was the utility belt and handheld grappling gun. These gadgets were essential to Batman's crime-fighting arsenal, and Burton made sure that they looked as cool as they were functional. The belt was sleek and streamlined with various compartments for all of Batman's weapons, and the handheld grappling gun, folding batarang, smoke bombs, and all the other gadgets were amazing to see utilized in the movie. Over the years, the toy company NECA has faithfully recreated many wonderful collectibles from that movie. The Batmobile, action figures, grappling gun, just to name a few. This time, they have released a replica of the iconic utility belt along with its many wonderful toys the Joker wonders about in a pretty impressive bundle. So let's head on over to the table, let's open it up, and let's get a good look at it. All right, guys, so let's take a look at it. This is what you get with the bundle. You get the belt and the grapnel guns in this box. And in this box, they send you the Batman Batarang replica. So you do get these two boxes with the bundle. So let's take a look. First, we'll go with the small one here. You can see the box is really, really nice. They have like a matte finish on this, but then they have the shiny Batarang and the Batman logo, uh, the Batman uh, insignia. Uh, all done in kind of like a shiny, reflective texture there. That's on the side. The presentation packaging is really, really nice. They did a good job. And it says here, Batman authentic movie detailing. It's seven inches across. Magnetic extending and folding feature. So it folds up nice and it does, uh, I guess, magnetically sit on the belt and it says includes a display stand i want to take a look at that and i don't know if that's really a great looking display stand but we'll take a look at that we'll open it up so that's it for that box and then this box it's a really really nice looking box again with the reflective kind of design the matte finish on the box itself the belt is reflective uh batman utility belt on the side the batman logo again uh, it just says Batman Utility Belt Replica. And on the back here, you can see it says Batman Utility Belt. And this is all the capsules that's in there. They have a torch, a scanner, a rebreather, smoke bombs, the communicator. It's pretty cool. The taser, the micro camera, gas pellets, the grapnel launcher. It says accessories fit in belt slots. They have a removable little computer here. It's pretty cool. And then they show you here where the batarang will fold up onto the belt. The grapnel gun will also attach along with the communicator. Really, really cool. On the bottom here, it says uh, how you can fasten the belt in the front. Uh, the button to unfasten, of course. And the belt size, which is uh, adjustable, which is really, really cool. It says fits waists 31 and a half inches to 50 inches. So that is really, really good that you can... Uh, size that uh, It says fits grapnel launcher parts together. Oh, that's cool. The the grapnel comes apart unlike the uh, other grapnel that they had with the uh, The motorized feature that one didn't come apart of course because the motor was inside but This one does come apart like the movie So that is the box. So why don't we open up the box and get inside and take a look at it guys? All right guys, so I think we'll start out and take a look at the batarang real quick first before we get into the belt Oh, 
There we go. Uh, oh boy. Okay, that's the stand. Uh, very thin, cheap plastic. Jeez. Vacuum form piece of plastic. Not much to say about that. I wish they would have actually had a little better stand there. Hmm. Nice plexiglass or a wooden stand would have been really nice. They could have at least colored the Batman in there. Oh well, okay. And here is the Batarang. All right. Uh, it's not as big as I kind of thought it was going to be. I already hear the, the jokes behind that, guys. But seriously, it, it, it's a little smaller than I thought. The plastic's nice. It's got a nice weight to it. It's pretty thick. I guess it's about maybe a little over an ounce, the whole thing. It's got a nice hinge mechanism. Works really, really well. Actually, metal hinges, too. Not plastic or anything like that. It's actual metal hinges. I don't know if you could see that. With tiny little screws in all the hinges. That was pretty well done. It actually has a nice kind of a spring tension to it. Seems like it's got magnet. Yeah, very nice. This is done very well. Actually very impressed with that. Got the nice silver ends there. Nice weight. Very well done. Okay, let's get into the main feature. Let's see what the belt looks like. Hang in there with us, guys. All right, guys, so let's get into the belt here and see what this looks like. Let's get it open. Okay, so right off the bat, on the top, right off the bat, <laughs> the is the grapple launcher. Let's take a look at that first. Wow, that's in there good. Holy moly. Wow, is that in there? Okay. Wow, it's much lighter than I thought it was going to be. Wow, it's very light. Much lighter than the, uh, of course, the motorized one, because there's, of course, no motor or battery in this. Yeah, this is really, really light. I mean, it's well done. It does look like the grapnel launcher. Let's see if it comes apart. Yep. Very cool. That's just a pressure fit. Very nice. Details are done nice. The gold on that is really, really reflective. Look at that. The pressure fit on this, you're going to have to be very careful here with this because I can feel it already. It is a very tight fit. I mean, I guess it'll work itself in, but you definitely don't want to be, you definitely don't want to put this in crooked because this little tab could snap right off. I could see that already. Have to be careful with that. But of course, it's not really for play. It's more for show, of course. Oh, that's got a nice click open. Oh, very cool. All right. All right, let's see the belt. Oh, belt's inside. Oh. All right. Let us see it. Well, here it is, guys. All right, now the belt. Hmm. The belt's got a nice weight to it. I honestly thought this was going to be much lighter than it is. It's got a really nice feel to it. Okay, so this has like a... It's a kind of like a vinyl overcoat. It's got a solid plastic 
solid, very, very solid underneath, but a vinyl coating on the top. The hinge, the, the belt buckle works actually pretty good. Yep. Very cool. A little hard to get it closed, but like I said, it probably will work itself in. Looks like the magnets are inside there. You can see that. Now let's see it. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little ratchet kind of a... Oh, that is really, really nice. That was done well. I like that. With a nice hinge on the back. That is really something. Hey, that was actually done really well. Nice ratcheting. You can hear that. Wow. Very, very high tolerance that they actually made that to. That's really, really good. And the hinge in the back, you can see that when it opens. Hmm, okay, let's see the capsules. Oh, there was a computer in here too, right? I think. This is something you can take open. I don't know. I don't know how you get to that. All right, we'll get back to that. All right, so these are the capsules. So this one is, what do you have here? One, two, three, four, eight, and the remote. All right, guys, I actually had to break away because I literally had to yank these capsules out of the, uh, the vacuum form. They were so tightly pushed down in there. It, it took a little bit to get them out of there. So I just pulled them up just so they'd be ready uh, to show them. So uh, let's see, which one is this now? I think this is the scanner. Yeah, I think they said this is the scanner. Pretty cool. Non-functional. We'll see how they go in the belt in a second. This, let's see, what would this be? I don't even know. Oh no, that was the torch. This is the torch. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. That's the torch. This is the scanner. Pretty cool. Nice attention to detail. Let's see, what would this be? This would have to be the taser. This is the taser, yeah. Three little prongs. Wow, oh, they're sharp too. Wow. Very nice. All right. This one is pretty easy. This is the gas pellets. Uh, they're not removable. Oh, yeah, they are. No, are they? No way. They are. The, the pellets are actually removable. I don't want to remove them, but they are removable. I thought that was just molded in there. But they are actually removable. That is wild. Very cool. Huh. Wow. Pretty great detail. All right, this would be the rebreather. Let's see where the mouth would go here. Very cool. Wow. This would be the smoke bombs. Remember that from the scene in the movie where he throws it down? I think he's in Access Chemicals at that point, right? He throws it right onto the catwalk there. Do these open? No, they do. Hey, that's really cool. Huh. I really thought these were just molded. I didn't think these were actually... Definitely plastic. Huh. All right, and then this is the communicator. 
Very cool. Yeah, okay. Very cool. And the last one. What was this again? Oh, the micro camera, right? Yeah. Very cool. Let's see how it goes into the belt. How oh, they fit in nice. They do slide in good. Oh, they only give you four slots here. Huh. All right, so you can only install four at a time, and then you still have your smoke bombs, two other capsules. What they should have done, they should have put actually extra compartments on the back of the belts where you could hold everything on here. I don't know why they didn't do that. I know they wanted to keep the look of the four, but um, they could have very easily put it back where their cape would go. Wow, that's a pretty strong magnet. That's pretty cool. Wow. Very strong. Let's see the... Let's see. It's got a pretty strong magnet on there. Oh, you know what we forgot to check too? First, let's see if this... This, oh yeah, it goes on by itself. Very cool. Oh, I forgot the batarang too. Let's try this magnet on this side too. Yep. Any magnets back here? Nope. Let's try the batarang. That's very cool. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't put the extra compartments to hold the extra pieces on there. I don't know. Oh, yeah, and we forgot the computers, too, right? I think they're in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. A little computer screen. A little circuitry there. Traces. That I could see being problematic, clipping that on a lot. I think there's another one, too. Is there one over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, very cool. Looks like some type of batteries or capacitors or something. So that is it, guys. They did a really, really nice job. I see a couple of areas where it could have been improved. Um, I would have liked to have seen the, um, I would have liked to have seen the grapnel gun just a little bit heavier, a little bit weightier plastic. This is very thin plastic. Um, the grapnel gun, the regular grapnel gun with the motor in it is actually better quality than this. But again, it's just, it's just for looks, right? And uh, the Batarang is really nice. Like I said, I think they could have just added a few extra spots so you're able to keep your other components on the belt. But very well done. That's it, guys. So what are my final thoughts on the 89 Batman Utility Belt Bundle by NECA? Well, first off, I have to say that NECA did a great job replicating the look of the original belt and gadgets. The attention to detail is impressive, and it really makes you feel like you're holding a piece of movie history in your hands. One thing I really appreciate about this belt is the adjustable feature. It's convenient because it allows you to adjust the size of the belt to fit your waist comfortably, quickly, and easily. Now let's talk about the price. Is it worth the bat bucks that you'll be shelling out for this? Well, that depends on how much nostalgia is worth to you. If you're a diehard fan of the movie and had been waiting for a quality replica like this, then it might be worth the investment. But if you're just looking for a cool accessory to wear with your cosplay outfit, then maybe not so much. That being said, I do think there are a few improvements that could have been made. For example, extra magnets around the back of the belt, along with extra spots to hold the remaining capsule containers and remaining gadgets. Overall, I think the 89 Batman Utility Belt by NECA is a solid replica that any fan of the movie would be proud to own. It's not perfect, but it's definitely worth considering if you're in the market for a 
great quality prop that will take you back to Gotham City in 1989. Well, that's it, everyone. That's the review. Jester Tester saying be well, happy shopping as always, and until the next review, I will see you.